Greetings YouTube, this is Bilch Diver from ThriveForms.org and TabletRoms.com Now posting a video on rooting your, th your Toshiba Thrive. Now once again, this is really only good for the system versions that end in 29 and 32. As before, I have done the system update to the latest version, which as you can see here, 32. And also to demonstrate, I am currently unrooted. Open up my terminal em emulator. S U. As you can see, permission denied. Okay, so I have the latest system image, and I am currently not rooted. I still have the stock recovery, so what can I do? Well, I am, let's go to the internet and find out. Now, I have, I am open to tabletroms.com, the thread where you can download the Easy Flash tool. It will work with all versions of Windows that we know of. There's the link here. You can also get it at thriveforms.org. Exact same thread style. Same link. All right, once you download it, this is what you will see. You will see the tools and, the, and then the images you'll be using, but you shouldn't be using anything in those folders. It's the README that I recommend everybody read. The ADB drivers, if you have issues downloading and installing your Thrive to your computer so you can use ADB, please don't hesitate to ask in either of those two forums. This is the Easy Flash tool that you will actually be using. Now at the moment, I have actually already installed the ADB drivers. I have also installed the fastboot drivers, but that'll be for a different part of the tutorial. Okay, so first things first, I am currently running, unrooted. Let's go ahead and run the tool. Okay. Toshiba Thrive, easy flash tool. Please select what you want to perform. First things first, let's get root. To begin the root process, you need to do the following. Ensure my USB port is set to debug mode. Let me show you people just so that you know. Let me switch over to my Thrive. You go there by opening up your apps in settings there. Applications, development, up there at the top is USB debugging. Make sure that checkbox is checked. And you can tell by seeing that little honeybee icon right there. That means USB debugging connected. Okay. Now, Back, back to the tool. Show your device is plugged into the external charger. I am plugged in. Connect your device to your PC by the mini USB on the side to my USB connector on my computer. That's also plugged in. Power down your device. And then restart in recovery mode. Okay. I will show you exactly how to do that. First things first, let's go ahead and power down. Yes, I would like to shut down. Okay. Reboot into the fast boot slash bootloader by pushing pushing and holding the up volume and the power button at the same time until you see three icons on the screen right there. Now, as 
at this point, we will use the volume rocker keys to select the USB icon for fastboot. There. I am currently in fastboot. Now at this point, if you have never done this before, uh, your computer may prompt you to install actual separate fastboot drivers. In case you were wondering, they're the exact same drivers for Windows for ADB. Okay. Now, at this point, your device is ready to begin the root process. As you can see, all right, starting Fastboot USB download protocol that is currently on my Thrive screen, press any key to continue. Select the boot image to flash. Now remember, since my device is already on the latest version, which ends in .0032, that's the boot image I need. If I flash the .0029, there is a really good chance your Wi-Fi will not work. So make sure you select the correct one for whichever version of the Thrive you are using. I'm currently on .0032, so there I go. Currently flashing the boot image. Now we're actually booting. Waiting for device to fully boot. Now actually, I'm still on the boot up screen, which is, which is normal. I still have a custom boot, custom boot image, so I should still be fine. The reason, the reason it's taking so long at this moment is because my Toshiba is not fully booted. There is a point in between when you power on the device and when you when you're booting. Aha! Never mind. Congratulations, your Toshiba Thrive is now rooted. Yes, there is a point in between boot and you're fully booted when. You, ADB will actually completely work. And as you can tell, according to this, I am fully rooted. I have to wait for my Toshiba to power up. Anytime you flash a new boot image, it might take a few extra minutes. Any key to continue. As you can see, I'm fully booted. As you can see, I'm still booting up. I don't know if you can see that, but because I already have everything installed, Auto Killer has been set super user permissions. But set CPU has been granted super user permissions. Oh, sorry, I did not want to open up my Gmail. I want to show you all my sorted emails. Okay, just to also verify, since this appears to be the common way of verifying root, toggle soft keyboard, S U, and as you, I don't know if you can tell. Oh, I have the pound key. I have root. Okay. Now that I have root, let's go ahead and install Clockwork Mod Recovery so I can actually do a back, an Android backup. Back to the main menu. Here we go. Flash Clockwork Mod Recovery. Is your Thrive already rooted? Yes. If your Thrive isn't already rooted, this will not work. All it will do is just go back to the main menu and and please go ahead and root before you do this. So, at this point, it's asking to be in the fast boot again. Let's go ahead and do that. Power down. And 
let's power back into fast boot. Volume up, power button. Use the volume keys to select USB. And I am now in fast boot. Press any key to continue. Please wait, flash on clockwork mod. And it's done. Please wait for a device to full to fully boot. Congratulations, your Toshiba Thrive now has Clockwork Mod Recovery. You can now enjoy the ability to update the system with mods and custom ROMs. It will also allow you to do backups of the complete device. Okay. Everything's installed. I now will just verify we have Clockwork Mod Recovery. Actually, I think one reason it's not working right is because my boot animation, when I unrooted and I reflashed the new uh, update, my system directory got overwritten, so now I no longer have a boot animation. So I will be changing my boot animation later. Once again, another shout out to uh, tabletroms.com. They are the ones actually hosting this file, so please, uh, please visit their website and tell them, give them all a hearty thanks. Okay, let me go ahead and show you Clockwork Mod Recovery. I can actually reboot straight to recovery from my desktop. That's one of the things you can do with root. It's an app. Call wait. There it is. Qu quick boot. Recovery. The other way to do that, voila, we have Clockwork Mod Recovery. Ported by DJ Steve at tabletroms.com. That's it.